Hey there, my man. Wow, that was quite a jump. You almost jumped as high as I could. Come with me, silly. We're gonna spend some time together. I want to bring you to my forest a bit. Yes, I'm serious. I want to bring you for quite some time, but you're always so nervous. I could probably force you if you come with me, but I'd rather not. That wouldn't be very nice of me. Will you come with me, buddy? Yay! Come here, sweetie. Let me give you a hug. Mm. I called you sweetie? Well, that's because you're so sweet. And now you're blushing. Oh my goodness, you get flustered so easily. We're almost there. Hey, buddy, you're moving very slow. Are you okay? Oh, you're tired? It wasn't that much walking. Oh yeah, I guess you're not a kitsune like me. Well, we could take a break here. Here, I brought some water along too. Oh my goodness, that was loud. Well, we better hurry and get some shelter. Here, let's take shelter over in the cave over there. Don't worry, it's okay. We should ride out the storm. Oh my lordy lord, this is quite a storm. The wind and everything. Looks like we won't be leaving anytime soon. Buddy, are you okay? You look terrified. Sweetie, you're shaking. Don't tell me nothing's wrong. I can tell something's wrong. You're embarrassed to tell me? Come on, silly. I know you're shy, but you don't have to be shy with me. Oh, I see. You're afraid of the thunder. I'm not asking. I'm well aware what's troubling you. I can read minds, you know. Yes, I'm afraid I read your mind. I'm sorry. I really want to know what was wrong. Oh, come here, sweetie. Mm. It's okay. It's okay. I know the storm is scary. You know, I could help you calm down a bit. I can help you calm down with cuddles! Yes, cuddles. What do you say? Yay! Come here, my little spoon. Well, you are a bit smaller than me, so of course I'm going to be the big spoon. I want you to feel safe with me. <laughs> oh.
I'm sorry, I should have not read your mind again. That was pretty rude of me. I hope you can forgive me. It's just a habit. To be honest, part of why I've gone to those lengths is because I need to know when something's bothering you. I know it's an invasion of your privacy, but you're so shy sometimes that you won't tell me when something's really bothering you. I can't have you suffering in silence. Well, I care about you because you're my friend. Plus, I could sense another feeling you've been hiding from me for a while. I feel terrible. I read your mind a while back and I saw something that stunned me. I mean, I thought it was absolutely adorable. I didn't want to push you to confess me after I read your mind. You look so flustered, sweetie. You don't have to confess to me. I just want to know the truth that I know you've fallen for me. To tell you the truth, I love you too. I never had these types of feelings for humans. I've been around for a few hundred years. Never once I felt this way about someone. I've been happy to know you, sweetheart. Oh yeah, I guess I've been around a long time. I'm old enough to be your mother. Actually, more like a few generations further. Do you have a thing for 500-year-old women? <laughs> that shocked expression suits your innocent face. You're such a cute man. Let me hold you. Do you feel safe and warm held against my fur like this? You're blushing still. <laughs> I love you so much. You love me too? Did you even realize you just said that? You're so silly. No, I didn't use any of my magic to make you confess. You did this on your own free will. Well, I guess I did tell you how I felt since we first met that one day. Do you remember that day? You saw who I really was that day on campus. You didn't judge me at all. You didn't tell anyone who I really was after I told you. I thought about manipulating your memory so you'd forget who I was, but I could tell you weren't going to tell anyone. That's when I realized you had a bit of crush on me. Aw, oh, what did I tell you, sweetie? You can't hide anything from me. I saw your intentions and knew you'd keep a secret from me, and I can tell you were attracted to me, darling. That's right. The storm. It's still going. I'll keep you safe, sweetie. I'll wrap all my tails around you. No need to thank me, my love. I'm so happy I can finally tell you how much I love you. Hmm? What was that? Read your mind? Okay. <laughs> of course, baby. That's so adorable. I'll use my tail to play with your hair. I'm glad. You're safe with me. The scary storm won't hurt you. I'll hold you so close to me as long as you need. You more than deserve it. If you want to fall asleep here cuddling with me, that's okay, my love. I promise, I won't let you go. I know us Kitsunes are known as tricksters, but I never trick you like that. I can tell how afraid you are of the storm, but luckily, you feel safe with me.
I feel like I don't deserve your trust since I've been reading your mind without your permission. You're so sweet to forgive me, my love. I promise to love you for eternity. You won't have to go back to class or work anymore. I've been around for so long. I have plenty of resources. I can take care of you forever, my dear. What do you say? Lovely. Now, go to sleep, sweetie. You need some rest, and I'll hold you and never let you go. Good night, sweetie. I love you.